Hey everybody, I'm Stephen Christensen, and in this podcast, we're going to talk about football. We still have two weeks to go before the Super Bowl in Miami, and that's reason enough for excitement. But one week after the NFL's championship game begins a new chapter in the ongoing story of professional football. And by the way, by football, I'm not referring to the European game. No, this is full contact, rough and violent, authentic football. Some call it American football, others call it North American. That new chapter will start on February 8, kickoff weekend for the new XFL. Its first incarnation, the Extreme Football League, ran for one season 20 years ago. That league introduced many innovations that remain with the professional game today, the Skycam being one of its most well-known. The new XFL will field eight teams playing over a 10-week season. The championship game will take place on Sunday, April 26, at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. The eight teams, divided into East and West divisions, are the Dallas Renegades, Houston Roughnecks, Los Angeles Wildcats, and the Seattle Dragons in the West Division. The D.C. Defenders, New York Guardians, St. Louis Battlehawks, and the Tampa Bay Vipers are in the East. The commissioner, Oliver Luck, is no stranger to football. He's perhaps best known as a former quarterback for the Houston Oilers, now the Tennessee Titans, and the league's personnel includes a healthy dose of head coaches with Canadian experience. Seattle's Jim Zorn played for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. June Jones in Houston had a recent stint as a head coach of the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Mark Tressman, who will coach for Tampa Bay, coached the Toronto Argos and Montreal Alouettes to championship titles. And the New York Guardians, Kevin Gilbride, used to coach the former Ottawa Rough Riders. Aside from the NFL and its former rival, the AFL, that ultimately folded into the NFL to become the AFC Conference, as well as the Canadian Football League, alternative professional football leagues have come and gone. The grim reaper of bankruptcy has taken the World Football League in the 70s, the USFL in the 80s, the World League of American Football in the 90s, the UFL in the 2000s, then, most recently, the Arena Football League and the Alliance of American Football, both just last year. There are lots of interesting theories as to why the startup leagues folded. Some focus on financing, others on management. Some on the general economic conditions, and then a few on viewer preferences and when fans would prefer or not to prefer to watch football. So the new football calendar would see the XFL starting the year in early February and continuing through April, handing it over to the CFL which runs from May through November, overlapping the NFL's season starting in September on to the Super Bowl on the first Sunday of February. And if you're a football fan like I am, this is a very good thing. The opening kickoff weekend gives us the Seattle Dragons taking on the D.C. Defenders on the 8th of February as the first part of a doubleheader Saturday, followed by L.A.'s Wildcats playing the Roughnecks in Houston. Sunday's lineup sees the New York Guardians taking on the visiting Tampa Bay Vipers, with the second game featuring the St. Louis Battlehawks going up against the Renegades in Dallas. Despite the grim fate ostensibly assigned to start-up and alternative professional leagues, All rationale suggests that the XFL should not only fill a void in football, it should do fairly well in its first year. But the league needs to make it to that point with a solid year two plan without major realignment, location, and ownership changes. Even one or two questions of team location in year two would spell trouble. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode.